What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to Knife Life DDC. And any newcomers, welcome to the channel. We got an overview slash review for you guys today, and it's going to be over the Concept Warrior. Now, this was a really cool knife when I saw it and I picked it out. I kind of picked it out just because of the way it looked. Um, I really just like the way the J the JG10 uh, scales looked, and along with the black uh, bolsters. Um, it just looked great, and I thought it was actually my first J. I don't know if I just said this. It was my first with the JG10, so that's what I really liked. So this is my first one, and I love the Tonto blade. Obviously, it's got that black stone washed on it, so obviously my favorite one of them. And it is also D2, which I am a fan of D2. Uh, good work steel, I think, like for budget blades, and you know you can tear them up and everything, and not feel too bad. But this is, a, I think, a little bit nicer of a knife. Like it looks nicer to me. You do have your lanyard hole for all the lanyard people out there, so you won't be missing out on that. And it is a deep carry pocket clip, so the only thing about it is it's not reversible, so you will be missing out on that, which does suck. Um, it is, I did say it's deep carry, and it is tip up, so good things. I did like the pocket clip, though, because it's, it's got that up action, not just the up and that way. The, the duck bill. I, I don't like the duck bill real well. I know it's give or take. I, I deal with it. But um, if I can get them like that or a wire clip, I for some reason I love wire clips. I didn't know I used to. Or I didn't know I did. But as you can see, I love wire clips. They just work for me. They work well, and I have no complaints. Um, it is a liner lock also, and then I will say this is a thick boy. She, or she? It's excuse me. It's a lady. She's a little thick, but um, great knife though. It doesn't like. It is meaty in the hands, but it's not that bad. I do feel the pocket clip. I will say that, but. I never, I guess, had a problem with that though. Like it's just as long as it fits in my hand, I don't really worry about the pocket clip. But um, it's a good size. It's a pretty good blade, uh, lengthwise, like candle wise. Like you're not gonna, if you have a bigger hand, you're not gonna, like obviously slip off or anything like that. It's got a good size blade for handle for you. Um, it does have jimping on it. I didn't care for that though. That was not my thing. That was not my bag. Like it, it's weird. Like it's. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I, I don't like the way it looks, obviously. But I also feel like if my hands get a little sweaty, like I don't feel like I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I don't know. Um, oh, I guess I'll get into the one thing that I had problems with. I don't think it's a fault in the knife or the blade or anything like that. I think it's just me. Um, it is the the thumb studs. Like as you can see, I kind of. Like seriously, 30 minutes before this video, I sit here and <laughs> I sat here and practice trying to flip this open. I I don't know. I have it. It's about 50/50. I get it open or not. It's just it's just me. Like I I oiled or lubed it up and everything like that. It's not the knife. I've messed around with it. What gave it away for me is my brother. I like, came right in like uh, was a while back. He I let him handle it for a while and take it home and try it out and. It, he didn't have any problem. He didn't have any problem flipping it open. That's why I think it's just my fingers. I just, maybe it's my placement or something like that. But it's about 50-50 getting it open. I don't think that's a problem with the knife. I think that's just, like I said, me. Like, it plus after, I don't know, it just it doesn't work. I don't know. It's weird. I've never had that problem with any knives. But with this one, well, I don't know. Like, if you look, if you see the thumb studs, they're flush with that, which I normally think is nice. Like, I like that. But it's just, I don't know why. It's, uh, maybe it's because the thicker handle and everything like that. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just splitting hairs and we're making make stuff up. You know, I don't, I don't know. It just, I have problems flipping it open sometimes. Or half the time, excuse me. Um, great knife, though. Other than that, I really did like it. I love the way it looks. Um, let's get a size or a length for you. Where's that at? Here we go. Let's get a length real quick. Now that cutting edge is going to be about... My goodness, I can't work today. I almost say three and a half. It says, it says 3.375 on the website. So I, I don't know. I think it's almost a little longer. I guess the overall blade length was... It said 3.46. I don't think so. I think it's a little longer, so... My eyes could be deceiving me. I don't know. I could be a little crazy. But I think that blade's a little longer than what it's saying. But um, yeah, cutting edge at least, I would say, is 3.5. So I don't know. It's close. But I guess if you're 
don't want a longer blade, like I guess that would matter. The overall length of is actually I didn't check that is about eight. So that was about right. I think it said 8.2 earlier when I looked it up again. So it's pretty close. That's not too bad. Um, let's get a weight real quick too. Because it, it does feel a little... It's not too bad. It's a little heavy. Not bad though. That might just be crazy. I say that a lot I think. Let's open this up. Uh, turn this on. Now let's get it to where you all can uh, see the light. Or without the light on there. There we go. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, so 3.9, it's not too bad. Like I would say almost compared to other knives, it is a little heavier. Let's check out the, this is what I wanted to compare it to. Okay, so it's not as heavy as this, but this is also I think is a longer blade. It's what I wanted to compare it to for you guys. See, there you go. It is quite a bit. Practice is a little bit longer. Actually, yeah, it's not actually that, it's actually pretty close. I actually do like the blade better on the Concept Warrior. Um, let's compare it to Devo Mash V2. And it's longer than that, so not bad. Like, it's a good little, it's not a good little blade, I guess it's a good meaty blade. But, um, it's a good size blade for you. If you want a bigger knife, I would say go for this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, because I can't get my fingers to work with it, and I don't carry it as much as I'd like. I think I'm just probably, I'm trying to get a giveaway together or something like that. Maybe when I reach a thousand or maybe sooner, you know, obviously. I got some knives I kind of want to give away that I just, I don't carry and I just, I don't want them to go unused. If someone could carry this and use it or heck, if, even if they want to sell it, I don't care. It, after I give it away, it's theirs. But if someone wants to keep it and like use it, that's, that's all I want. I don't know. But um, like I said, if they sell it, no big deal. But I'll probably give this away as a, a giveaway here soon. Um, like I said, I'll obviously be on the lookout for that. I'll hopefully post that soon. Or I don't think it'll be a thousand. I think I might do it before a, a thousand subscribers. But we'll find out. I'll let you guys know. I kind of want to cut it. Man. And seriously, I practice cutting before I do videos just because I, I have such trouble doing it. I don't know why. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right there. So there you go, it is sharp. It is a good knife. But um, yeah, if you guys wanna see this in a giveaway soon, just let me know. You know leave it in the comment section or it, like, I gotta keep, uh, I gotta think about something else. I don't wanna just give the knife away, I wanna do something else. Like maybe I'll get a pad or a, a pouch or something like that, maybe a flashlight or, or something like that. Just let me know what you guys think would be cool to go uh, put in a giveaway also with this knife. Um, but if you like the video, just leave a thumbs up or get, leave a comment on anything. You know, I always appreciate comments. I like hearing them or hear what you guys have to say, but that's the overview right there and have a blessed day.